Alright, here with another update on the um, dual extruder uh, pivot mechanism. It doesn't use any extra motors or anything. Um, so, as you can see, I've done a lot of work on this um, and actually uh, went to a fishing line type pulley and uh, block, kind of like a block and tackle design. Um, tried that. Uh, the fishing line just got way too messy. Um, it might have worked, but it was just a pain in the butt. So um, I went back to the filament technique um, because I felt like that was simpler and because I was going to have to increase the torque anyways and uh, overcoming the friction in the, in the tube wasn't uh, as big a deal as I thought. So, um, as you can see, it is now pretty much working. When I spin this, it makes the extruder switch. You can see that end, and basically, um, you can see the um, filament coming through that end, going into a little clamp that um, goes through the carriage and kind of holds it with that little screw and then you can see on this end I also did quite a bit of um, addition um, so you can see this is a little bit bigger and that gives it more torque um, to push the filament through here um, you can see so there's the magnet wheel there's a small pinion gear attached down here you can see that and then a bigger gear here and that big gear drives pinion up and down or a, uh, I guess a rack it's a rack and pinion kind of design so you can see that goes up and down when I spin this so this will be the extruder and when that spins it will push it into position so that goes through there all the way over to here and pushes that up and down. I still have to do a little bit of redesign just to keep things from running into each other. Like, uh, there's a screw that sticks out too much right there. Sometimes it gets caught. I also have to increase the travel a little bit because as you can see it doesn't go, doesn't go all the way to the, to the end. There's still a gap. Um, so it doesn't switch all the way. But those are pretty easy things to fix. Um, basically just increasing the um, stroke on this to go down farther so that it gives me a little bit more room um, and then that will make it so that I can uh, push the carriage back and forth easily um, so yeah uh, let me know if you have any questions at all I'm nearing completion of this but unfortunately I only get to work on it uh, every once in a while, you know, weeknights and weekends sometimes, so it's going to be a slow going process. Um, let me know if you want me to post the files again so you can work on it. And uh, that's it. Thanks.